it's just a vibrant city. It's constantly changing. We were actually the cultural capital of the EU for a while. So they pick a different city each year, and Cork right. was one. It was amazing, amazing. But what I like most about it is you can literally, the bars, the restaurants, everything is new, up and coming. It's going to be a big, big city. And Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world. Discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we are exploring travel destinations through the voices, the stories, and opinions of locals who live there and travelers who've been there. And the last few episodes that we've had have focused on the craft beer movement in Ireland. And the last few episodes, you heard from Patrick and Stephen in Killarney talk about how Guinness was replaced on a tap handle with a favorite local Killarney stout. Then Patrick talked about how some of the local breweries in the area of Killarney and brewing trends in and around Killarney then after that, you got introduced to Debbie B. from Cork as she shared some of the more popular larger microbreweries and craft breweries around the Cork area. Today's episode is kind of a continuation on that. You're going to hear from both Pat and from Debbie. You're going to hear in their voice. You're going to hear their opinions. It's the opinions. And what's the opinion about? It's about Cork. So I will tell you that before I arrived in Ireland, I had planned for a one night in Cork, so two afternoons and one night in Cork. But I really didn't have it planned out other than I knew I had a partial day kayaking tour on the port of Cork with Atlantic Sea Kayaking Company, who was amazing by the way, you will hear about them in a future episode. But I had that kayaking tour and then I had a hotel and nothing else planned. But when I was asking in Killarney before I got to Cork, hey, what is there to do in Cork? Most of the people looked at me and just said, well, well, why? Why are you going to Cork? What do you think you're going to do there? Uh, and so I was kind of second guessing my decision to add Cork to my itinerary, to be honest, until I talked to Pat. And you're going to hear what Pat said. He basically said, Cork's amazing. It's fantastic. There's a whole bunch of reasons people would go to Cork. And then I went there. And I agree. I agree with Patrick. It is amazing. And you're going to hear today some reasons why Cork is an amazing place. You're going to hear it from Debbie B., who describes herself is as Cork as you can get. And she talks about how Cork is considered the rebel republic, how Cork is better than Dublin, and there's a long-standing rivalry with that for sure. And uh, one of the big takeaways for me after talking to her and being there is that Cork is really this modern, hip, cool place to go visit. Apparently, Cork won a European-wide award. There's like a Cultural Capital of Europe award that is put out each year, and and Cork was awarded that at, at one point in the recent past, and I can see why. There's really great music and street musicians, and there's shopping, and there's art, and cutting-edge modern food and restaurants and breweries. I mean, there's a really hip, urban, trending vibe in Cork that you can feel when you walk around that core downtown area. So with that, enjoy. So what's the deal with Cork? Cork's amazing. Cork oh, it's amazing. Cork so it's a great place. Cork is beautiful. Old golf course in Kinsale and County Cork is one of the nicest golf courses for green and quality and scenery. It's utterly amazing. People say Cork because it's funny. Their accent, like Ireland is such a small place, but the accents are so strong in such different places. But the Cork accent is quite strong and people take the, people would take the piss out of it a lot more. Pardon my language. Um, the, there's a, like the capital of Ireland is Dublin. Okay. <laughs> I know. Oh, come on. Yeah, people it's always... Dublin. It's pe- Dublin. The rest of that. People from Cork call Cork the real capital. Why? Because they think that they're the real capital. They're the main thing of Ireland of what so is. So that's what I'm going to be told when I go there. I'm oh, what, say, oh they, yeah. they won't say welcome to Cork. They'll say welcome to the real capital. And what you should do is that you should call it the real capital before they say it. And they'll love you forever. I hear really? this is the real capital. Yeah, I see it. I see it. 
So there you have it. Pat from Killarney, Ireland, who is originally from Ross Common near Galway, thinks that Cork is a pretty amazing place. And he gave us the insider tip on how Cork believes they are the capital of Ireland. So now let's hear what Debbie B has to tell us about Cork. So I've lived basically in Cork all my life. I lived in Limerick, I've lived in Limerick for a small bit, originally from West Cork. So you can't get any more Cork than me. Um, but Cork is the best place in, in Ireland. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from here. I just think culturally we're a lot friendlier. Um, I find Cork a lot more homely. Whereas you walk in Dublin, yeah. I find it cold. You don't see people that you'd meet. Do you know, whereas you walk down Cork, the town street in Cork, it feels like a small town because you meet your family, you meet your friends. It's it's re- it's a really nice nice area to to live and work in. Now I I will agree with everything you just said because mm-hmm. I've been to a few cities now. This is my fourth city on on this trip so far in Ireland. You guys are very very friendly, but I do notice that almost everybody from Cork thinks everything in Cork is amazing. Mm. We're the capital of Ireland. We have the we are. world's the best. Real I mean, you guys are you guys are We're not the rebel bashful. county. We're the yeah. rebel county as we call it, but. It's it's that's just the the Cork Dublin rivalry that's been through generations of generations not just with sport with everything it's just a rivalry that we have really yeah what yeah. what sparked the rivalry do you guys even remember uh, just... well what my granddad said was because it's the time of the troubles and back in the 1916 rising that they said that Dublin wasn't as helpful and the fact that Michael Collins is from Cork and they felt that Michael Collins was backstabbed by the Dublin and all this, you know, and me, I'm actually related to Michael Collins, so I, I take that to heart. Oh, so that, really? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's just it's just a vibrant city. It's co- constantly changing. We were actually the cultural capital of the EU for a while, so they pick a different city each year, and Cork right. was one. It was amazing, amazing. But what I like most about it is you can literally... The bars, the restaurants, everything is new, up and coming. It's going to be a big, big city. And especially now we're getting a new arena built in the middle of the city centre. Oh, really? Which is quite unique. Whereas Dublin, there's there's arenas. You have to get trains and buses right. like, out to the thing. Whereas we're literally going to be in the city centre. So it, that'd be amazing when it's built. What's really unique about it, it's actually in the old Beamish and Crawford Brewery. So the front of the building is listed. They cannot remove it. They cannot touch it. So what they're going to do, it's like an old Victorian-style house, which was the original brewery, and they're actually going to build a brand-new spanking building onto the back of it. So I don't know how... The architect, so he was very fancy when he was doing it because he did it. He kind of kept within the old, unique standard of the building, but it's going to be pretty amazing when it is built. So there you have it, a quick introduction to Cork, Ireland. And I hope that if you're planning a trip... Pardon me. I hope that when you plan your trip to Ireland, you consider adding Cork to your itinerary. Thanks for listening. And remember, we always post show notes and uh, links to resources on our website at midlifetraveler.com. Thanks and happy travels wherever you may roam. Hey, let's go.